All right, 54, we are simplifying, and we've been given negative radical, or the fourth root, rather, of 81x to the sixth, y to the ninth. And as soon as I see the directions to simplify and I've been given a radical, what I immediately do is go ahead and right away break that given radical up into good stuff, bad stuff. And we know that the root we're working with is 4, so don't forget to write your index. And now let's go ahead and jump in. So first things first, let's go ahead and take care of this 81. Then we'll look at the x to the 6. Then we'll look at this y to the 9th. So 81. Does 81 have a fourth root? And if you're looking at your index, or rather your uh, exponent or power reference sheet, you'll notice that yes, 81 does in fact have a fourth root. And because 81 has a fourth root, all of 81 is considered good. All right, let's move on to x to the sixth. When you're dealing with variables and their exponents, what you want to do is go back to the root and start thinking in multiples of your root. So if our root is 4, we want to think in multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, etc. And then we ask ourselves, is 6 a multiple of 4? Well, no, of course not, right? 4, 8, 12, 16, I didn't hear or see 6 in this list, so 6 is not a multiple of 4. But what is the next number below 6, down from 6, smaller than 6, that is a multiple of 4? Well, 4, right? The next number down from 6, smaller than 6, that's a multiple of 4, is 4 itself. So when we go to break up x to the 6th, x to the 4 is good x to the second is bad, and 4 plus 2 gives us 6. All right, let's try y to the ninth. Is 9 a multiple of 4? Nope, again, I don't see 9 listed as a multiple of 4, so our next question is, all right, well, 9 may not be a multiple of 4, but what's the next number down from 9? What's the next number smaller than 9, below 9, that is a multiple of 4? Well, 8, right? So when breaking y to the ninth down, 8 of those y's are going to go in the good stuff. 1 of the y's is going to go in the bad stuff. And 8 plus 1 gives us our original 9. And now we've completely broken up our original radical. And so we know that the good stuff radical is going to come out clean, clear, and free. So let's go ahead and see what ends up happening. What is the fourth root of 81? Well, you'll look on your chart and you'll get 3. And now when x to the fourth comes out, what is it going to come out as? Well, it's going to come out as a as an x, but what about the index, or excuse me, rather the power, the exponent? Well, to find out what the exponent is, what we do is we take the exponent that was under the radical and divide it by the root. So in this case, 4 divided by 4 gives us 1. So when this x comes out of the radical, it comes out as x to the first, because 4 divided by 4 is 1, but we don't ever write 1 as an exponent, right? And then what about y to the 8th? Well, we know it's going to come out as a y, but what is its power, its exponent going to be? Well, just like before, we're going to take the exponent, divide it by the root. 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. So when y comes out of the radical, it comes out as y squared. And now that everything has come out of the good stuff radical, we simply rewrite the bad stuff radical. And of course, don't forget, the original problem had a negative out front, so our final answer is going to stick that negative on, and we end up with negative 3xy squared times the fourth root of x squared y. And there we have it, number 54.